Leo. Welcome to Sag Life Tarot. I am Shannon. I will be your tour guide on this Leo energy check-in. Pray with me, won't you please? God the Father, Mother, Divine Creator, Source, Energy, Vibrations, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Guardian Angels, and Ancestors. Humbly we come before you in gratitude. Thank you. Goodness, mercy, peace, love, joy, happiness, long life, and prosperity. From me to you, Leo. Amen. Let's get into this read, Leo. I do it so many times so I can get that energy. Come on. Put that fire energy. Okay? That Leo fire energy. That sun energy. Vibrant energy. Holy Spirit, holy angels, what will you say to Leo today? What will you say to Leo? What is the energy for Leo today? General message, general read. Take what resonates. Wow, three of cups to start this read off. This is time to celebrate. Family reunion, a party, good times. Could be a, a love reunion, social gathering, something new you're doing, traveling for fun, going out on a date maybe. King of Coins is here. Ultimate provider, grounded, abundant, secure, stable, money maker. Very lucrative, lucrative, everything you touch. But everything is not what it appears. Not what it seems with this Seven of Swords. Somebody in your energy has been lying, cheating, wearing a mask. Very sneaky. Could be walking off with something of yours. Look at this Ten of Swords. Whatever this energy is, it could have been a celebration. Could have been some friends uh, somebody very close to you could have been very sneaky, could have been lying and cheating. Ten of Swords, it is the end of this, a breakup, a divorce. Maybe you finally saw this person for who they truly were. Somebody could have been using you for your money here. Queen of Swords and Nine of Coins. So the idea of you still being nurturing, still being a loving, caring individual, but now having to put your swords up, put your guard up, because you realize that this person, this energy has been fabricating themselves. Uh, very sneaky behavior, okay? So much so they smiling in your face and laughing behind your back. Smiling like they cool but laughing behind your back. And it took for you to put your swords up. So you might have had to tell somebody something real harshly, real strongly. Nine of coins. But you are being re rewarded. Oh my gosh, you get two seven of swords. This is the Vidasira Tarot. Um, this deck is. This one is the intuit tarot. So this is like your intuitions. Um, you knew here that somebody was being sneaky. And, and, and you might have caught them up with some friends of yours. Might have caught this person up uh, with the help of some friends here. Whatever it is, it's a breakup. It's the end of this. You no longer want this person in your energy. You might have told them where to get off at, how to treat themselves, get up out my face. I'm done. It's over. For some, it could have been a relationship. For others, a friendship or a partnership in a business. Nine of coins. So whatever this is you did, you broke yourself free from 
an energy that was holding you back. Sneaky. They still sneaky in your energy. Paying attention. Watching what you got going on. Being very deceptive. But look at the Hierophant. Letting you know that whatever it was, you've learned from this. And you are now taking whatever this is that you learned. For some, somebody could be, uh, this could be a marriage. A very strong relationship. Could have been with somebody five years or more here with this energy. For some, somebody is going to court about this because it it they really did something so sneaky and really um was lying and taking things from you. This is also carrying things away. So this energy could have been stealing from you and you found out about it with the help of some friends here and it's the end of that. Whatever it was you did, you are being rewarded, rewarded in the way of like releasing this negative energy from your life. Eight of Pentacles, because of course you work very hard at whatever it is you do. Somebody could be going back to school. You might have did a lot of research on this person and found, and which is how you found that this energy was against you in some kind of way. You got the King of Cups here. So uh, it definitely could symbolize a relationship because the before the Queen of Cups was out here. So, no, that was the King of Coins. Uh, and you have no major arcana, Leo. So this isn't something that a life lesson is a major arcana. And in those lessons, this is like going through your emotions, going through your actions, going through your feelings right now. So it could be something that you strongly feel like you're going to keep with you for the rest of your life. Like you learned not to overwork yourself and help others. You learned that one hand is to help you and the other hand is to help other people but you learn not to give both of your hands to people anymore because you gave more of yourself and these people did not appreciate it and took very strong advantage of you um somebody could have walked off with um somebody could have robbed you like one of your friends or who called themselves your friends was being very deceptive and could have walked off with some of your stuff here for some, that's for some. Take what resonates. This is a general message. Take only that with, which resonates with you. What is this in reverse? The Nine of Cups in reverse. This is wishes will not come true. Greed and vanity. Okay, this and I feel this energy for whoever did this to you. Because you and this King of Cups energy. No matter what they did to you, you still loving, still compassionate, still keeping your mind about you, still giving them, um, giving this person forgiveness. And you know it's lonely being at the top. And so you thought that these people could have been your friends the whole time. They really was just taking advantage of you. And this is a lesson you had to learn quite a few times here with this Nine of Cups in reverse. You had to go through this cycle a few times because you kept giving of yourself. But now in this Knight of Swords energy, you are fending for yourself. You going to, going against anything or any energy that is against you while at the same time standing for what you believe in and going after what it is you truly want, your true heart's desires here. You got one major arcana, Hierophant, Taurus, and Libra energy here. And with this Hierophant energy, um, I'm getting that you are changing. This is new beginnings. This is a newfound perspective to what it is you've been through. And you are lovingly moving into a different area in life a different frame of mind luck is here your luck is about to change for the better you could get some lucky break some financial breakthrough anything you do now will be very prosperous for you control is here letting you know to be a little bit more flexible and let the universe work its magic time for you to stop trying to be in control of everything some things are out of your control and you have to learn to accept the things you cannot control. 
okay? The past, what we say, somebody from the past could have done something to offend you. Something you did in the past could be about to come back in a job type manner. Um, some unfinished business possibly. Look to the past to understand the future and learn lessons from your past. Something you experienced in your past, an old school, an old skill could be useful to you right now. You could be earning or receiving money from something you did in the past as well. Work smart and charity is here. Work smart is saying you are, are you making things harder than it has to be? Sometimes solutions are that simple. Perhaps it's time to clean house personally and professionally to start with a clean palette. Uh, remember, we had the artists in here. Um, somebody could be into arts and crafts. Somebody's talent could be working with their hands. Somebody could be going into apprentice here. What, where, where? Manifesting. Manifesting. You have all the tools you need to increase your income. Good fortune is coming soon. An opportunity may come to you where you can showcase your talents. Now look at this um, charity. Donating can create positive energy around you and attract more abundance. My nose is starting to itch. And that means money is coming to you, Leo. Luck and manifesting. I just see a lot of money coming for you. A downpour of money for you. Let's get some romance out here. Romance angels, what would you say to Leo today? Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Pay attention to the red flags. You had two seven of swords. Pay attention to these red flags because these are lessons that you are supposed to learn. Look to the past to understand the future, a lesson, an experience or an old skill, a lesson. So remember, the signs are cautioning you, cautioning you to be careful. You had two seven of swords. That's somebody real deceitful. And even after you catch them, they still going to be trying to do something deceitful, attraction. Which you don't need that in your life. You do not. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. I was about to put it away, but then Holy Spirit, Holy Angel said, put some more love out here for Leo. Because there's some good loving coming to you, Leo. You got the King of Cups out here saying that your emotions are ready for love. Free yourself. Now, you had a card out here that said you freed yourself. Okay. You freeing yourself from what's been happening. What, what, which one of these cards? Y'all know I can't do it. Freedom. Right here. Nine of coins. Freedom. This is saying you freed yourself from this situation. So red flags, red flags. Pay attention. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Look at how control came out. You got to remember that there's certain things you can't control, but taking back your life, control of your life, that's in your control. Unrequited love, somebody you was with. Mm -hmm. There is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep that relationship going. So for somebody, that relationship is over because you're not attracted to this person. Y'all don't have enough chemistry between you two. And let go of control issues, Leo. <laughs> you know what? It makes sense that I'm saying this to a Leo because uh, Leos are considered to have control issues, okay? You want to control everything. We know, but everything is not in your control. And this is a part of being a king of cups. That is learning that you don't have control over everything and keeping your emotions at a good uh, rate instead of uh, always being angry or always being sad or something like that. But raising your vibrations. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Can I have a life purpose? 
give me a life purpose for the y'all, please. Books. You connect to your life purpose through your involvement with books. Can I get a angels of abundance? A angel of abundance for Leo, please. Angel of abundance for Leo. Oh, look at that. You got a bunch of them, too. Okay, we're going to see what they say. Visualize abundance in all forms. That is saying God gave you such spiritual power that you need to visualize this abundance in everything that you do. Sever, pal, uh, sever vows of poverty. Obstacles and blocks are lifted. Now, this is saying that all your good personal work and your positive energy has shifted the obstacles and the blocks that were in your life. And didn't we say something was blocking you from making progress in your life, but the blocks and obstacles have been have been lifted. You will now experience progress and forward moving with your projects. Stay in gratitude. Focus on your priorities. While you focus, you receive your outcome. This is helping you to produce your feelings and change them if you are feeling anxious. Give your attention to the uh, priorities that deserve your attention. And whatever you set your attention to uh, draws more energy. Uh, you quickly learn to manifest towards those things. Okay, let's read this together because this is something good. We can say, you can say for anybody who feel like they could have something that's holding them back from in financial improvement, severing vows of poverty. Dear one, there's no need to suffer or sacrifice. Hold the intention of undoing any vows of poverty or self-denial that you may have made consciously or unconsciously in any lifetime. As you do so, all effects of these vows will be undone for everyone involved in all directions of time. So this is telling you that if you sever those vows of poverty, no matter for everybody in your life, this will change everybody's outcome. Okay, and 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 of course that would mean the stagnant and energy would begin to move prosperously. Candle rest and recharge. Okay, sometimes you gotta get your rest on. This is the inner witch oracles. Inner witch oracles for Leo, please. Symbols believe, believe in yourself. Believe that the universe is sending you subtle signs. Pay attention to all the signs, the red flag signs, everything. Circle around the moon. Change. It's time for a change. Let's get some. The power of love oracles. Power of love oracles. Give Leo some information today. Share a message with Leo, won't you? Give Leo a message of love. Spontaneity. Spontaneous. You move beyond the constraints of the mind and freely and lovingly embrace new situations freely. It's something about freeing yourself, Leo. Freeing yourself from vows of poverty. Freeing yourself from people who don't treat you right. Freeing yourself from unrequited love. Freeing yourself from the emotional baggage that you've carried for a very long time. Virtue. You acknowledge your loving spiritual attributes that encourages others to grow. That's what you do, Leo. Encourage others to grow. Look at that. One of them is flipped over. Ha! Past. Through the power of love, you release any stagnant situations or energy in order to transform your heart space. We can't make it up. We cannot, Leo. Didn't that card, Vows of Poverty, just say it? 
it will release stagnant energy. Something else said, whatever, something was stagnant against you and we was releasing that energy. Come on now. You are releasing this stagnant energy. You are about to be very financially wealthy. And if love is what you manifesting, because whatever you manifesting is coming. And this could be it. Freeing you from something that was holding you back for a long time. Let's get some shaman's oracles. Shaman's oracles. Look at that gold. Lost compass. Getting back to integrity. Dr dream thief. Oh, refusal of the call. Dream thief. Come on now. Come on now. Releasing this stagnant energy. Somebody been trying to steal your dreams. And maybe that's what that seven of swords is. It could have been, you know, it could have been um spirits, demons. It could be all type of energy. Energy trying to hold you back. You know that? Dream thief. Ooh, Leo, you are changing spiritually right now. Your life has to be changing spiritually. Because you, the moon, uh, things are coming to let you know, to show you who the thieves are now. You are seeing this for yourself. I feel like you understanding it better now. That's 35, 13, 14, drifter, experiencing life as it comes. Now, this could be uh, numbers for um, somebody's age, birth dates, those type of things. 56, the wall, obstacles. 27, heart, home, compassion. What we just say, you are being compassionate on people who did you wrong. Let's see what the Bible will say. It's what would Jesus say cards, okay? Y'all remember back in the day uh, the, for the older people. WWJD. We used to see that a lot. What would Jesus do? Hmm. What would Jesus say? What would Jesus say to you? Unto you it is giving to know the mystery of the kingdom of God. Mark 4, 11. Leo, now that is some strong, powerful stuff right there. That means that you are about to know the mysteries of God. The mysteries of God, Leo. Only you. Only you. Okay? These are sea oracles. Can I have sea oracles? Release. Oh, child. We can't make it up. Release. May you lay down your burdens. Mm. Lay them burdens down. Come on now, Leo. Let's get a unicorn oracle for Leo. Look at this fire out here. It just reminds me of the Leo energy. Just fired up. Miracles. Oh, thank you. How, have faith that your miracle is on its way. Your prayers have been answered. Surrender the how. It's not about how. Leo, because whatever you manifesting is finna miraculously show up. Leo, whatever you are manifesting, it is a miracle. It is about to happen. Believe these miracles are coming. I think you had believe up here. Hold on. Believe symbols. I can't make it up. I can't make it up. Come on, Leo. This is for you. This is in your energy for you. These vibrations are for you. Magic. That's it. That's it. Miracles, magic, and manifestation. Come on, miracles, magic, and manifestation. You doing the most, Leo. Look at this. Wishes come true. Wishes coming true. I can't make it up for you. Okay. Magic. There is magic and miracles all around me. <laughs> I'm excited for you, Leo. Where others see coincidence, I see evidence of life synchronicities. I love feeling life with wonder and magic. It's way more fun that way. Oh my gosh, Leo. We cannot make these things up. You have a miracle manifesting into magic right before your eyes. Angel answers 
recovery. Somebody is in recovery. Angel answers. Answer, Leo. Answer, Leo. Only you can answer, Leo. Ooh, what will you say a year from now? Something is going to be so different. So different. It is unto you. It is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God. Miracles manifesting in magic. Ooh, you about to hit luck. <laughs> you about to hit this luck. Oh my gosh. It's so beautiful, Leo. I feel it for you. Don't stop, Leo. Don't stop. Don't stop. In the near future, these things are coming to pass. In the near future. Leo, please. Perfect timing. Mm, that's what it's telling you. It's going to be perfect timing. Meditation brings answers. Leo, let me pull one, one of these. Activation oracle. Somebody about to get pregnant. Number 27, fertility. The frequency of fertility invites us to be more open, more courageous, more creative, and more joyful than we were before. It activates the potential for something beautiful to grow from our consciousness into a new and grander expression of ourselves. Leo, you are growing. Thank you so much for being here with me. Thank you for showing up and showing out. My information is in the description box below. I do private readings. I will be back next week with another general message for you. This is a general message. Take what resonates for you. Be open to change. Let go of control. Let the universe uh, show you magic. You are becoming magic right before your eyes, Leo. I love and appreciate you. I will be back soon. You guys enjoy the rest of this week. Be uniquely you. You are magical, obviously. And if you hit that like and subscribe button, thank you so much. You are supporting my channel for free. I love you guys. Enjoy this week. Be uniquely you because only you can do you. Later.